Hey, it's Elizabeth Council of Low Carb, and on this episode, we're gonna do healthy keto snacks and lazy keto snacks coming up next. Hey guys, it's Elizabeth Council of Low Carb, and on this episode, we're gonna talk about healthy keto snacks. Keto snacks for the ketogenic diet. Hey, I'm Elizabeth, I'm the Council of Low Carb. I've lost 67 pounds through keto, through intermittent fasting, and my keto weight loss has been attributed to keto, fasting, and working my booty off. But today I'm gonna to talk about my top seven healthy keto snacks to have if you're feeling super hungry, super satiated. But first, if you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up. <laughs> click the notification, um, click the subscribe button and the notification bell so we can see you guys again in the future. Now let's dive into all of my goodies. Number one healthy keto snack that I recommend is bump and a bum, hard boiled eggs. You know, these are the cheapest, easiest healthy keto snack to have because literally you can take a bunch of these at the beginning of the week, boil them. If you put them in water, boil them for six or seven minutes on a rolling boil, take them out, put them in an ice cold bath. That makes the shell peel off easier. And then just have them peeled in your refrigerator. They last up to five days. Awesome, healthy keto snack. Another way, so this is a lot of protein, right? And so keto is high fat, moderate protein, low carb. And so making sure that this stays on the ketogenic way of life and for keto weight loss, what I would suggest for the best lazy keto snack is adding some fats to it to make it higher in fat. Again, because keto is high fat, moderate protein, low carb. And so the best fat that I would add to it would be Primal Mayonnaise. I haven't even taken it out of the box, but I'll put it in the description link below. I ordered this off of Amazon, but you can get it at Trader Joe's. Some of y'all said you had it at Walmart. Your Walmart must be the bomb.com for your keto snack. But um, I get these off Amazon at a tablespoon or Adding two tablespoons of mayonnaise to your eggs is zero net carbs, but will spike up your fats to help keep you satiated. I also like to add pink Himalayan salt. I will put this in the description link below too, um, to add a little bit more minerals to it, right? Table salt's not good for you. So if you're thinking like the lady with the little umbrella salt, that is not good for you. But pink Himalayan salt, my Malden's uh, tin salt, I'll put those both down below. Pink Himalayan salt has 81 minerals, so particularly potassium and magnesium, which we need on the ketogenic way of life. So for my awesome healthy keto snack that I love for total lazy ketoness, it would be number one, hard boiled eggs, and then adding some fat onto them. Some of y'all may be asking, why do I have Duke's mayonnaise? Well, y'all love know my love of mayonnaise. I'm a Southern girl. I love me some deviled eggs, although that's not one of my healthy keto snacks today. It could be though. Um, using Primal mayonnaise is totally keto, totally clean, 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 clean ingredients. Double check, although Heinz, I think it's Heinz, just bought them out, so make sure you check those ingredients in case they add anything sneaky in there. I do love me some Dukes. Dukes is not keto, it's more low carb, and the reason why is because there's no sugar added, which is the plus, but the minus on it is it has soybean oil in there, which is inflammatory, which we need to avoid on keto. So, I do love me some Dukes. Full disclosure, I know the keto police are out there wooing their horns, um, but this does not have sugar added, whereas like Hellman's has added sugar into it. This does not have added sugar into it, but it does have soybean oil. If you're concerned about inflammation, go with the Primal Mayonnaise. Again, in the description link below. My healthy keto snack number two for lazy keto snacks and easy keto snacks is pickles. I've already spilt the pickle juice on me and my snack. <laughs> so here's my pickle spears. If you have three spears, did y'all know I love Britney Spears? Speaking of spears. Um, my three three pickle spears equals one net carb. The hard boiled eggs was 0.6 net carbs for one hard boiled egg. Just watch your protein. Again, keto is moderate protein, not high protein. So eggs could push you over with your protein amounts. Um, but if you're doing lazy keto, it's a little bit different. So pickle spears, three pickle spears for your easy keto snack equals one net carb. Totally a healthy keto snack. That's something you can take on the go. Now at Walmart and gas stations, they even sell whole pickles in little cellophane bags, which makes it even easier so you don't stink when the juice spills. That is one net carb for three pickle spears. My third healthy keto snack that I would recommend is, I'm having a love affair with it, is cheese. I love me some cheese. Who cut the cheese? I don't know. Maybe I have a cheese problem. Maybe there's a cheese. <laughs> 
just love so much cheese. Anyone else? Put in the comments below if you're a cheese head, if you're a cheese lover, if you cut the cheese. I love cheese so much, but cheese does lead to weight loss stalls, so be mindful of your dairy. If you're having weight loss stalls, check yourself with your dairy. If you may be having too much heavy whipping cream and cheese, that can lead to inflammation, my friends. But having two ounces of cheese per day is a good thing. Just monitoring it, but cut it out if it's adding to two. If you're having a weight loss stall, that would be the first thing I would check is two ounces. I even do have a digital scale. I even do have a digital scale to measure it out because I will eat way too much cheese if I just am left to my own devices. So I will put in the description link below. Also a digital scale that's super cheap, 10 bucks or under. And then that way you can measure out two ounces so you're not eating too much. What I do love to do is just measure them out at the beginning of the week and then that way I know what I have. <laughs> Now, quick disclaimer for people who are talking about keto snacks can lead to weight loss stalls. Yes, they can, my friends. I'm gonna recommend an amazing book. Dr. Fung's Complete Guide to Fasting, talking about how integrating fasting into your weight loss program, for me, that's what helped break my weight loss stall. I do have a whole Crush It With Countess Weight Loss Stall course on that in the description link below. But having snacks can spike your insulin and the whole name of the game is leveling out your insulin. So I did want to give that disclaimer. I love snacks, particularly when it's that time of the month or if I'm just restarting with keto or if I just am hungry and starving. But usually I try to stick to a super, not strict, but a good cadence in the fasting um, schedule to help me lose weight. I did want to give that quick disclaimer. Tip number four is nuts. I like big nuts and I cannot lie. I do love me some nuts. But again, this is one of the other foods I can totally binge out on. But having a fourth a cup of nuts, using a measuring scoop, having your kid measure it out for them as part of their chores and putting them in little Ziploc baggies or to be environmentally conscious, little glass containers, which I will put in the description link below as I will the nuts. A fourth a cup, so that way you won't binge eat out on them and you will stop knowing how much the portion size is a fourth a cup, my friends. So one net carb for pecans for a fourth a cup. Macadamia nuts are two net carbs for a fourth a cup, but these are pricey, but I do get these off Amazon, so they're shipped to my house. Walnuts are 1.5 net carbs for a fourth a cup. Um, Brazilian nuts are 1.5 net carbs for a healthy keto snack and pumpkin seeds are four net carbs depending on the packaging that you get for a fourth a cup. I have seen lower net carbs on that though for snacks. Again, just making sure you're measuring them out and using, I have a designated scoop, which I'll put in the description link below to help make sure I'm not overeating on my healthy keto snacks. My next easy keto snack that I do love is roll-ups. If I'm needing something quick and easy, I will have some um, deli chicken, turkey, ham, deli meat, and I know some of y'all, again, another disclaimer for people out there who are gonna write in the comments, you're gonna write something in the comments or make it something positive, but they write in the comments that it's not organic, grass-fed, antibiotics, processed, um, hormones, I know all that obviously. Obviously we need to know that those are the best things that we can have, do the best you can afford, but I also live in real life. This is Royal Weight Loss Meets Real Life. So I do have roll-ups and they are deli meat, but just making sure that I'm making good conscious choices, you make good conscious choices and being aware of the information, but having a turkey roll-up, three slices is zero net carbs or ham roll-ups, having those again, adding them with some mayonnaise, which is zero net carbs for two tablespoons, adds a little zaza zoo just making sure you're not having too much protein. That is, um, and oh, I'm sorry, the mayonnaise was two net carbs, I beg your pardon, not zero net carbs. The next keto snack, number six keto snack that I recommend is guacamole, guacamole. I do love these guacamole packages. You could get your own and put them in your own package or have an avocado and squish it up, but these are awesome. These are one net carb per package. I got these at Walmart, you can get them at Aldi, you can get them at Target, they're Target. They're great, easy keto snacks, lazy keto snacks for one net carb. I love these suckers. You can put them with some peppers, you can put them with some vegetables, some leafy greens, and mix them around. It totally, totally is a great, easy, lazy keto snack for you. Next snack that I have, snack number seven is, I just found these at Walmart, they're apple butter, and the same thing, little containers, so if you're on the go, if you need a keto snack on the go, something super, super quick, it's apple butter. Now, now reason why I don't use peanut butter, because peanuts are legumes, which are not keto, but almonds are. Did I keep saying apple butter? 
Hmm. I meant to say almond butter. This is almond butter. <laughs> almond butter. This package is three net carbs, which is kind of a lot for a keto snack, but for a healthy keto snack to get some extra fats in, this is a great easy one that you could take as I throw it across the room. You could take it on the road with you and have it with some vegetables. I have a whole keto vegetable video, which I'll link also down below too, that you could dip it in for some easy keto snacks on the go or lazy keto snacks. Um, I have a bonus one. It's the bonus round. Boom, boom, boom. If you've made it this far, again, make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe. But my bonus round one is, I just spilt it all out. I just spilt it all out. But um, is tea. I loved having my little tea sampler, which I will put in the description link below, particularly when it's cold outside, and I'll add a tablespoon of fat into that. Some people say, that's not a keto snack. It totally is, my friends. It's a healthy keto snack because you could add some coconut oil into it. You could add some grass-fed butter into it. You could add some amazing fats into it. I'm just throwing tea bags everywhere. Um, but this would be another keto snack that I love. A healthy keto snack at that. Um, and it helps with voices if you're getting colds and it just is delicious. So those are my healthy keto snacks, my lazy keto snacks, my easy keto snacks. I'm gonna have, I do have a series on keto snacks, which I will put the playlist down below in the description link if you want to see like Walmart snacks, Target snacks, a whole bunch, all these snacks. I have a whole, it's like Bubba Gump shrimp. I have a whole thing of keto snacks. If you are a snacker like I am, um, I still lost weight with having snacks, but again, fasting is best. Check out that Dr. Fung book if you want to also break through your weight loss stall with fasting. So if you like this video, click like, click subscribe, click the notification bell, and sign up for my weekly Wednesday free, it's free my friends, my weekly Wednesday weight loss email of my best tips, techniques, of how to lose weight, how to incorporate it in, and we do have a Royal Court weight loss stall community. It's 19 bucks a month where you get mailed a free tracker, a keto tracker, and also some stickers to go with the tracking. It's super, super cool. I'll put that in the description link below too. If you want a new year, new you, Royal Weight Loss Court is the place for you to be. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video on my keto snacks. Make it a healthy keto snack kind of day, friends. Bye.